Hey guys, what's up? It's Ted from Studio 7 Designs, and today I have to do a Cinema 40 tutorial. In this video, I'll be showing you how to create a really interesting scene, incorporating some ambient inclusion, global illumination, uh, MoGraph text, and some other elements. So let's get started. Uh, this is, to begin, this is basically what we will be making. Um, let me just delete everything so we can get to a fresh start. All right. So to begin, let's go ahead and click over here, drag this out, and create a background and a floor. Once we've made those, let's go ahead and create a new material and take off the specular. Let's go into the color, go to texture, and choose gradient. From here, go to the options, and let's choose a circular gradient and change around the colors a bit. I'm going to make this a uh, almost pure white and it changes to uh, a little gray, a little grayish color. Uh, maybe a little less gray. Alright, I think that's looking pretty good. You can mess around with this all you want. You just don't want too much contrast. Just want a little bit. That looks, that's looking pretty good. Let's X this out. And let's apply this to our floor and our background. Now, if we were to render, render this out, it would not be looking really good. Actually, before we do that, let me just turn off all these over here and give it a quick render. As you can see, uh, not looking good at all. Let's go ahead into our floor, click on the material, and let's change the projection to frontal. And after that, you should see we have a infinite background. So now that we've got that done, we can apply our text. There you go. And you can just change it up all you want. I'm just going to put it towards the middle. I'll keep the, put the text all in caps, I guess. And change the font. Now the font I'll be using is Sketchblock. You can download this off of, uh, I, believe it's, I believe it's the font.com. So I'm going to put that on there, right there. And we'll increase the depth to around 100. All right. Now let's make some caps real quick to the start. Put the steps to five and the radius to six. And leave the N as a cap. All right, so we got our plain text over here. Let's go ahead and make ourselves a material. We'll put the color on and choose maybe an orange, yellowish kind. I, I'm currently aiming for something similar to my previous intro. You can go ahead and check that out. I'll put this on. Now before we go ahead and uh, render this out for as a preview, let's go ahead into our render settings. Now you want to add a couple uh, effects and make sure you change your output to 1280 by 720 or whatever you please. So once you have this set over here in the output and you have your options all set up, go ahead to global illumination. Uh, if it's not already there, just go to effect and choose it from here uh, and check that on. From here you want to make sure your record density is at low, not preview. Well, you want it to be at low. And go ahead and choose details enhancement. And you also want to apply ambient occlusion. This will give you. This is going to give us some great looking shadows. Let's go ahead and check that on, and put the contrast to 10. And object low is not necessary. And also, uh, just for the purpose of, just for the sake of rendering time, I'll leave this at geometry. But when you go in for your final render, make sure it's on best, and your minimum level is at one, and maximum level is at four. Uh, I can always increase these, but that all depends on the speed and power of your of your computer. So let's go ahead and turn this back to geometry and exit out of here. Now, if we give ourselves a quick preview of this text, you probably won't see anything, and that is because we have no lights. So I'm just going to go ahead into the content browser and. If you're running uh, Cinema, Cinema 4D R12, just go ahead into your presets folder, go into Prime, and then go ahead to Light Setups, and you should see the Array Light. Uh, this is a pretty nice light. We're just going to double-click on this and X out. 
Already we see a decent lighting setup in our scene. And I'm just going to hit the render button. All right. Now these renders are going to take longer than usual, only because you do have ambient occlusion and global illumination running. These two effects can really affect your render time, so keep that in mind. I'm going to pause uh, the video and resume it once the render is done. Alright guys, so the text is just about finished rendering, and this is what you should see. Um, as you can see, you have some real nice shadows in the bottom and along the uh, text over here. And you also have a nice little gradient, uh, infinite background going on. Now, this is a great scene for any kind of intro. And as I said before, my previous intro for Jack Vale Films, I um, actually used this technique. I uh, simply used ambient occlusion, uh, anti-aliasing, um, global illumination, and just put the... Uh, Settings pretty high and it got a really nice uh, outcome. So, yeah, guys, that's about it. Uh, as for render settings, just make sure you set your anti aliasing to best. Options, I would usually put this at 6, 2, and probably 10 for the shadows. Um, make sure you have global illumination on with record density at low. Ambient occlusion should be on with a contrast of 10. And object low is not necessary. And that's about it. Make sure you save it to whatever you want it to be saved as. And your output is set to at least 1280 by 720.